Tonight, uh, how Central Indiana's largest school district is planning to move ahead now that its controversial superintendent is leaving. The Dr. Eugene White era is almost over at IPS, and the school board is looking ahead to selecting its new superintendent. What are they hoping for, and how soon will a new superintendent be in place? Our TV6 reporter Derek Thomas is live at the Education Center with the story. Derek? Erica, school board president Diane Arno says they'll probably hire a search firm to help find a new superintendent. They hope to have that new superintendent in place before the start of the new school year. Anna Macia is picking up her first grade daughter from school 67. She is well aware of the fact that Dr. Eugene White is retiring and doesn't want the district to backtrack. Just keep improving what they have been doing in the past. I think Mr. White did a great job for IPS, and I would like to see somebody continue and better what has already been implemented. But change is inevitable. School board president Diane Arnold has a keen idea of what she wants in a new superintendent. Someone who is collaborative, someone who really wants to look at how other districts have done, um, to hear other views, and to kind of take that into account as they're leading. You no, know, we don't want to be a board that's going to micromanage a superintendent. We want someone who shares our vision. It's the hamburger bun. It goes over there in the casa. Eventually, these preschoolers at Hawthorne Community Center will be students at IPS. Judith Thomas has six grandchildren who attend IPS schools and thinks the new superintendent needs to have a strong connection with inner city neighborhoods. And attend neighborhood meetings so he could be more in touch with the wants and the needs of the parents because most IPS children are right in the neighborhood. Finally, there are 2,200 IPS teachers. They will have to carry out the vision of a new superintendent. Their union president says children are the most important thing. Doing what's right for kids of IPS, of the IPS district, because poverty is great in IPS, and we have to um, accept that, embrace it, and then how do we make a change for these kids? Now, Dr. White says he will, will remain on the job until April. Uh, Arnold says that they will begin looking for an interim superintendent almost immediately. Live from the Ed Center, Derek Thomas, RTV6.